Hello and welcome to yet another class. Uh, this particular problem today here we are going to discuss discuss for finding out the, the equivalent wheel load factor which is sometimes termed as EWLF or vehicle damage factor. Now for designing a pavement so this particular problem is somewhat related to uh, design of flexible pavement. Now for a construction of load we will consider the effect of the loading due to the various heavy vehicles or the traffic which is uh, which is uh, going to occur throughout the lifespan of a particular pavement. So in a particular pavement the effect of the load repetitions are uh, that are likely the during the design life of the flexible pavement and the dynamic effects due to the moving wheel loads are to be taken into account so for uh, the effect of the loading is determined in such a way that how much damage it's going to uh, it is going to uh, contribute to the particular pavement for this uh, particular reason we are going to solve this uh, particular problem now without wasting further time let us see the problem now here in the question determine the equivalent wheel load factor of wheel, wheel load factor or VDF that is vehicle damage factor of the following two axle loads in terms of the standard axle load that is 8.16 tons now they have given in this particular problem they had given two vehicle class one vehicle car class is light commercial vehicles with rear axle load of two tons and another class is heavy commercial vehicles with rear axle load of 15.5 tons now for finding out the VDF or the EWLF that is equivalent wheel load factor we will use this particular formula now let us see this particular formula the general accepted approach for conversion of the axle loads of different magnitude in terms of a standard axle is by the fourth power formula now this is the fourth power formula so this is this was a particularly uh, fine uh, uh, this thing, uh, the found out by American Association of State Highway officials so this in this particular formula the convert the axle load will be converted uh, in terms of standard axle now here the standard axle value is given as 8.16 tons so now let us see the formula it is given by equivalent wheel load factor or vehicle damage factor it is equals to given wheel load divided by the standard wheel load to the power 4 or given axle load divided by the standard axle load to the power 4 which is EWLF or VDF that is vehicle damage factor is equals to P1 by P P1 is the given wheel load or the given axle load and P will be the standard axle load which is 8.16 tons now for the 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 load the given load will be in class 1 in class A of the uh, light commercial vehicles the given load will be 2.0 tons and in class B the heavy commercial vehicles the load given load will be 15.5 tons now let us see how to solve the problem for class A vehicle class A given axle load in tons P1 is given as 2 tons and the standard axle load in tons is given as 8.16 tons. 
Therefore, EWF1 or VDF1 will be given by P1 divided by P to the power 4, that is 2 divided by 8.16 to the power 4, which is equals to 0 0.0036. Now, in the second class of the vehicle, given axle load in terms of P2, in terms of turn in, uh, in turns, is P2 is equals to 15.5 tons. Therefore, the EWF2 or the vehicle damage factor 2 is equals to P2 divided by P to the power 4, which is equals to 15 divided by 15.5 divided by 8.16 equals to 13.02. Now, while while designing the while designing the flexible payment, we will find out the cumulative standard axle uh, the cumulative standard axle values we will find out for which we require the value of this VDF that is the vehicle damage factor it will be sometimes denoted as F also or the CSA or the cumulative standard axle the cumulative standard axle load will be required for the design of flexible pavement uh, as per IRC design specification. For this particular reason, we will need to have an idea of what is vehicle damage factor. Now, I think you must have a slightly clear vision about what is, a clear idea about what is BDF or the EWLF after solving this particular problem. So now, let us see some important points or note down these important points. The first point is the EWLF or the equivalent wheel load factor of a wheel or axle load indicates its possible damaging effects on a flexible pavement structure with respect to the standard wheel load, st standard wheel or axle load. So now EW, uh, EWLF will give us an idea of how much effect it is going to cause to the flexible payment structure which is dependent upon the uh, which is with which is uh, taken into account with respect to the standard wheel or axle load now in the second point the loads of magnitude higher than the standard load have very severe damaging effects if the mag load is the magnitude of the load is higher than the standard load it will cause a very uh, severe damage or in the next point the axle load of magnitude lower than the standard axle load have much lesser damaging effect in comparison to the standard axle load so if the magnitude of the load is lesser than the standard axle load it will have a lesser amount of damage to the payment structure okay thank you everyone we will come back to next problem next time thank you